often fall short in describing the beauty of the Jaguar F-Type. It's beautiful from every angle and it has this incredible mix of gorgeous lines, an aggressive front fascia, and a stunning rear end. But what makes this car even better is the powertrain. Jaguar stuck a 5-liter supercharged V8 which produces 550 horsepower and 502 pound-feet of torque. It is relatively heavy for a sports car at 3,900 pounds, but it still rockets the car to 60 miles an hour in 3.6 seconds. A little bit of clarification, this is the rear-wheel drive model, and from now on, Jaguar has switched to all-wheel drive for the brand new F-Type R's. Jaguar now offers a six-speed manual in the F-Type, and while we all love changing gears ourselves, there is something to be said about a brilliant automatic. The ZF8 speed in this thing is very responsive, offers great upshifts and downshifts, and can be found in a ridiculous range of vehicles, from the Dodge Charger, uh, BMW 5 Series, Range Rover, all the way up to Bentleys and a Rolls Royce Wraith. Because of the sheer number of gears, eight speeds, you get a pretty good 16 MPG City and 23 Highway, which is impressive because there's a massive supercharged V8 in the front. As great as the Jaguar F-Type R looks and sounds, its driving dynamics are equally as impressive. It features an electronic active rear differential, as well as high performance brakes, which really put this car on par with some very tough competition like the Porsche 911. If you put it in dynamic mode, the what was once relatively loose steering stiffens up, the dampers get firmer, the throttle response is more intense, the shifts are crisper, and it becomes an outrageous machine to drive. And what I'm most surprised with, because it's 3,900 pounds, is how nimble and tossable this car really is. It does seem to shrink around you and feel very much like a Porsche 911, which I believe Jaguar was targeting, but this brings some things to the table that the 911 doesn't. I think it's better looking. Mm -hmm. You cannot argue that this doesn't sound better. Yes. And it just has, a, it feels more, like you're getting more for your money for a little bit over $100,000 yep. than you do in a base Carrera or Definitely. Carrera S. Yes. Due to the larger wheels and stiff suspension setup, the car actually rides a little bit on the harsh side, especially on a rough pavement, but it is still very refined. Another crucial difference between the coupe and the convertible is that the adding the roof increases torsional rigidity of the aluminum chassis by about 80%. Coming back to the engine, the sound it makes is unbelievable. With the selective active exhaust, it snarls, crackles, and pops all the time. It literally could wake the dead, and unless you are profoundly deaf, it will make you giggle like a 12-year-old. All you want to do is just downshift and accelerate and hear it sing. Oh that my sounds God. awesome. Some people say that you do not need 550 horsepower, and those people are just blatantly wrong. <laughs> when you floor this car, it lights up the rear tires, but when it hooks up, it shoots you to illegal speeds faster than you can say the Porsche 911 is slow. control system and F-Type R is actually really good. Last time we had this car, it was really cold, it was a bit wet, and it just couldn't hook up properly. You couldn't really accelerate super hard, but it was still very much drivable, even in some light snow. Yeah, I think it was actually with wind chill below zero. Yeah. So it's pretty impressive that a car with supercar-like performance yep. is able to still drive mm -hmm. Normally and in a sporty fashion, but yeah. definitely not all out. Yeah. Sometimes people complain about all these electronic aids, but in this instance, with so much power and torque, I like this electronic aid that prevents you from driving it into a tree. Absolutely. The Jaguar F-Type R is absolutely seductive on the outside, and it transformed the already stunning convertible and adding the roof into a, one of the most beautiful cars ever made, yeah, I think. definitely. 
And what's surprising is even in black, which normally is a pretty stealthy color mm -hmm. in terms of attraction, yeah. everyone, when we pass them, seems to look over and get excited about yeah. the car. This isn't red or some crazy color, but still, people who aren't even into cars or have any idea what it is yep. get excited. And I have heard some people say that the red variant, people mistake it for a Ferrari yeah. because it's so outlandish. And But in this ultimate black color with the 20-inch Tornado wheels, it looks absolutely evil. Yes, definitely. I love it. If you buy this car, you're going to want to warn your neighbors because starting up every morning is going to wake up the entire block. But if you do want to drive it on a daily basis, interior is remarkably civilized. You've got heated seats, a heated steering wheel, a crystal clear 770 watt Meridian sound system, backup camera, backup sensors, everything that would make this car perfect for the daily commute. One thing that we just discussed actually was how easy it is to get in and out of this yeah. car. A lot of vehicles in the $100,000 and up price range and supercars are very hard to get in and out of this car. It's just a very fancy, normal car, yeah. in a sense, in terms of its practicality. Mm -hmm. Going along with the interior quality, as with all Jaguars of the modern era, mm -hmm. they look absolutely beautiful. Yes. The leather feels excellent. I love the contrast in white stitching, and it adds a little bit of flair in the interior that's kind of unusual. We've got this bronze-colored start-stop button and the paddles as well, and the air conditioning actually it's kind of hard to figure out how it works, but I think when you click the automatic button, the vents actually rise up from the flush dash. So awesome. Speaking of leather, this car has the extended leather pack, which literally covers every single surface of this vehicle in leather. The roof, yep, all of the doors, obviously the seats, the steering wheel, but I just think the coolest part is the, the swaths of leather across the entire roof. Interior space is actually pretty good. I mean, great headroom, good legroom. It feels very airy and light because of this huge panoramic glass roof. Also, storage space in the back is pretty good at 11 cubic feet. We fit all our camera equipment back there, and it's a big step up from the seven available in the convertible. Absolutely. Overall, the Jaguar F-Type R provides a tremendous, excellent package. It's one of the best sounding cars ever made. It's one of the best looking cars ever made, and I'm very impressed with how this vehicle handles. It's truly sublime and very responsive and predictable. Yeah. And I think in the $100,000 range for a brand new car, this might be it. This might be the absolute king. Yeah. I mean, you've got the new Aston Vantage V8 GT. Yeah. That's a pretty uh, appealing option, of GTR. course. GTR. Uh, GTR. Yeah. Porsches. A 911 Carrera S. But I think in terms of speed, sound, beauty, yeah. refinement, this has got to take the cake. It's the entire package. It's Absolutely. Perfect. So special thanks to Jaguar of Novi, Michigan for making this review possible. We love this vehicle. And really, you got to experience it for yourself. It's great to have us talking about it, but go for a test drive. I'm sure it will absolutely blow your mind. This car is available there now for just over $107,000. Please browse our channel and subscribe. Thank you for watching. If you could like us on Facebook.com and Instagram, that would be excellent. Look forward to seeing you next video. <laughs>